So on April the 3rd, I went into a double deep colony. Well, actually it wasn't a double deep, forgive me. I planned to put it in a double deep. It was an overwintered five over five, five over five frame nukes for 15 frames. And um, April the 3rd looked, to, looked to okay. I thought, okay, I come back. April the 15th, I come along, I think I'm going to put this colony in a double deep. Not everything goes well. When I came to the colony then, 12 days later, there was no, no eggs or larvae, just some capped brood and some, um, some queen cells. And I knew it hadn't swarmed and yours truly must have killed the queen when I went into the colony. So, what to do? Well, I got some good advice once from Dr. Spivak, which says if you don't know what to do, don't do anything. The bees will often sort it out themselves. So, that weekend, April the 15th, was the only warm weekend um, in a sp spate of chilly weather. And so, I'd like, like you to I'd like to introduce you to April. I don't know if you can see April there. She's a queen that some uh, new queen of 2016, my first queen of 2016, that somehow or other snuck out on that warm weekend, got her nuptial flights, and then when I come back to her on the when I came back to the colony on the 26th, I I found a frame of um, a frame of uh, eggs and eggs and uh, larva, and then when I came back just this past week, I find that. Da, 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 da. Lo and behold, April can do her work. So that is a pretty nice patch of brood from the queen, who I shall now name Queen April. Queen April, it is possible to get lucky sometimes.